Now, since the Royals announced the proposed site for a new stadium, we've heard from business owners who would be forced to move. KSHP 41 News reporter Leslie Dellis Ward checked back in with some of those business owners today to see how they're feeling after that proposal was rejected. I am so happy today. Business owners in the crossroads like Chet Da Vinci are taking a deep breath Wednesday. A neighborhood where we're already close with each other. People are even closer now. After he and other businesses worked together to keep a new Royal Stadium out of their neighborhood. It was a bad deal for the taxpayers and the citizens of this city. We don't need to give these billionaires our money. That money is made by the people. It should be spent on the people. People that Matt Atkins says make the crossroads special and who now feel a sigh of relief after feeling all the odds were stacked against them. This community and this neighborhood means so much to so many people and has for, for the better part of 30 years. And uh, we kept hearing so many times, you guys can just move, go somewhere else. And that, it's not that easy. Even if I did move, or at the saloon moved, or Green Dirt Farm, or the Belfry, or the Brick, uh, or Record Bar, um, that community is still lost. But next door, Jill Coxon is putting the pieces back together after a fight to keep the stadium out, adding it's not over. There's work to be done. We're, we're going to work to put in some added protections for some properties in the neighborhood so that if they try to circle back around in this neighborhood, it's just going to get harder and harder for them. But for now, Coxon says businesses like hers will work to celebrate what they see as a win for the community of arts and culture in Kansas City. The Jackson County voters showed up, so we're, uh, we're, we're very grateful for that. And I firmly believe that today I get to say I told you so. In Kansas City, Leslie Dellisport, KSHB 41 News.